and stuff like that. Okay, drink some more beer. Uh, ooh, you know what I didn't do today? Come on, what am I even doing? I didn't turn my lights on. I didn't turn my awesome lights on in the back. Rave time. Figure out joinery yet? I don't know. Yeah, joinery is like a lifetime learning thing, isn't it? Mortis and tenons. Yeah. I'm. I'm probably gonna go like as easy as I can on mine, and just do rabbits. Like I don't. I. I love watching stuff like the the samurai wood. Uh, uh, the the samurai. Uh, uh, woodworker on YouTube, I think is his name. Yeah, where he does like these. Everything he does is like Japanese based, because that's how he was like trained. And he's oh, it's just gorgeous joinery. It's all it's always like like the same type thing, but it's just always so pretty. So yeah, right, right, Gangles. He's so. It's just, it's just, really well done. It doesn't matter if it's like these like elaborate joins or anything. As long as you, as long as it's like done really well, and like finished nicely, like he always does, it's awesome. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the uh, compression joinery. I I love that stuff. I love it so much. I'd love to. I'd love to do that in, in, in something. I don't do that kind of woodwork, but someday when I've got a bigger shop, maybe. I can expand and learn some of that, you know. I'd like to keep on learning new new trades and uh, new new hobbies and new parts of woodworking. There's so much out there you can do. It's kind of the fun of it. Oh yeah, I was gonna sharpen. Oh, I had to break. Okay, let's get. I need to. Find a good place to put my, my my camera while I'm sharpening. Up in the air, you can just like hold it. <laughs> I wonder if I could put it over here. What I should do is like move this over here a little bit. Put this here. I'll get this. I'll get this. I'm going to get it. Yeah, exactly, Sasaki. Yeah. Like, there's just some amazing stuff that was done with, like, no metal at all. Like, they just... They're so good. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try that. See if that... Let, let's look at the picture of that. Ooh, look at that, that's close. Man, we're gonna try that. We'll see if that works. I feel like I can sharpen my my tools more with these new wheels because since it's a 350 grit versus my old 120, it takes off a lot less metal every time. And it also leaves a finer edge. So I feel like I can I can sharpen more often without I know it's not wasting tool, but without wasting tool. <laughs> okay, you can see that. Nice. And there goes the camera. <laughs> oh, that's that's funny. We're gonna go back to my old way. I think I lost a piece of it. I did lose a piece of it. Get back on there. You know, action cameras are supposed to be more more actiony than that. Work 
this edge really quick. There we go. Isn't the first time I dropped this thing on the floor. And it won't be the last time either. Back on there. There we go. Snap. Perfect. Good as new. No one will ever know. <laughs> Except for I did it live in front of the world. Okay, let's see, I got my measuring thing. We're at still about three and a half inches. There's done a whole lot since then. Got our tool sharp. Got a drink of beer. Sis, how's it going? Welcome in. How you doing? We're working on this yarn bowl still. And we are in the hollowing phases. Finally got the outside better. Now I'm oh yeah, good emote. That's such a good emote. That's my favorite emote. It's just So effing cute. Love was love of us. Okay, here we go. Let's cut some wood. Yeah, we're uh, through the first bowl, uh, bowl blank, into the second one. So we've got like a white one, a red, a reddish one, and then the brown one at the bottom. So we're 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 through the first one, m most of the way through the second one. Lo looks like. And uh, we just could keep on hollowing. I just sharpened the tool, so nice freshly sharpened bull gouge. Oop. Getting a little farther away from my uh rest it gets harder and harder to keep the, the tool steady so the um, kitten let, let me get a little, a little bit more on this uh this this this, this wall right here I'll work on the close stuff first and then I'll put the tool rest inside the bowl and we'll work our way down. Deeper and deeper we go. Hey, thanks. Okay. So right here. It's about the thickness of my wall is what I want. Right about here. Dust everywhere. Dust for days, son. Get all that out of there. Get out of there, dust. Let's do a quick camera clean. Switch that over here. Let's clean that camera off. 
it is like three inches from the bowl, so it gets quite a bit of dust on it, as does this one. Everything in here gets dust on it, though. Dust be gone! That's right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kroger, Kroger 88, yes. Huge difference, especially in these woods. Butternut uh, up at the front, this, this first one, it's, it's like cutting butter. I mean, it's really easy to cut. Uh, the grain's not as tight, which I don't like, like so much, but, you know, it's, it's pretty. Um, this, this middle wood is definitely a closer, tighter grain. So it's, um, it's like, um, it's like walking on, on like gravel and then, s and then walking in sand or something. And, and it like, kind of like, uh, makes you work a little more. So yeah, there's, there, there's, there's definitely a difference and there. And there always will be, every wood's going to be different and, and like how it cuts, how it feels, what it does, which is kind of the fun of it. So yeah, good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely the harder the wood, the the harder it is to cut, but also it cuts better. I would much rather 100% use really hard woods. Um, they, they, they just cut better. They... Uh, in my opinion, you know, they're not going to like splinter. They're not going to, they're not going to do all that like weird stuff that like softer woods will do on you. Um, I did. I glued all three of them up. The three by three by, I'm sorry, seven by uh, by two blanks. We're going to get probably about six round. Is that all said and done? What are we at here? Yeah, we're about six six round now, and we're about five and a little over five tall. So y you always lose some rounding them out, putting shape on things. You always lose. Yes, soft woods tear more. Definitely, that's 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 the word I was looking for. So so like this 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 butternut I was mentioning earlier, it tears. It's been tearing a lot. But it also will uh, sand up nicely at the end. So it's fine. Yeah. Hey, Pollerin, thanks for being here. Go have fun in Apex. You're awesome. Pollerin was actually doing some uh, really cool um, uh, joins today in her stream. So very, very good, cool, awesome stuff. The fun panda, it's the fun one. Welcome in. I was looking for, uh, you know, everyone has like a normal panda. Uh, they're, they're, they're not that good. You want a fun panda. That's awesome. Welcome in, cheers. Let me know if you have any questions. That goes for anyone. I'll, I'll talk about this all day. But yeah, it's coming along. I mean, you can see. Let's see if I can show. It's hard on camera. Because it's just hard to show some of this stuff. But, like, I can see. I can see some of the issues in the butternut where it, where it, where it, where it tears out. But, you know, that's fine. We'll, we'll get it all sanded down at the end, get it all nice and glossy. It'll be good to go. Okay. Let's get back to it. Boom. I think I need one more light on. Yeah, that one. Now I have like three lights shining on this. Actually, this one I might turn off. Yeah, turn that one off. That's better. You can do a cool nighttime turning. 
Okay, so we're gonna go right in here. You can you can hear a difference in it. Pixie, you're not here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You should be in bed. So it's good that it's good that you're not here. We're uh. Yeah, exactly, iron creature. Yeah, we're having a wood a wood turning rave right now. Got the lights going. It's all nice and dark and fun in here. I'm, a I'm actually able to see really well with the other lights I've got pointed right at this where I'm working, so. Yeah. Where'd your sub go? Is your sub not, are you not a sub anymore? I don't know where your sub went. Mm. I have been streaming at different times, so maybe you've not been on to resub. I don't know. Friday night vibes, exactly, exactly. We're having a fun on Friday. Fun Friday rave in the wood shop. Can't be found. Mm. Well, hopefully it comes back, Pixie. Ether Wolf. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I'm pretty bold, though, Aether. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the phone doing it on the phone is like different. It's like weird. Yeah, I'm not worried about it, Pixie. I know where your heart is. I got you. Um, it looks like my chat lost connection for a second. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Probably a Twitch hiccup. That that happens a lot. Yeah, yeah, we're we're uh, we're raving. We're so raving. Okay, it's deep enough. Let's go right here. Pick up this cut. Follow it on the way in. See about. Let's actually stop about right, right there. That's good enough. You don't need to go too, too deep yet. We're just working on the thickness of the walls right now. Right there. Perfect. Look at that. It's looking really good. So we're just working on this thickness right here. That's all we're doing. And then I'll, I'll move the tool rest in. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I think I miss... Sorry, I missed some chat. I got off the chat. <laughs> okay. Twitch be twitchy, yeah, 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 it is. Me and my freezing doggy emote. <laughs> nice. Oh no, I just missed. Sorry, Fun Panda, I totally missed your uh, your message. Just thought I'd show some love and eat my healthy bamboo stir fry. Nice. Oh, what? Oh, what movie you're watching? Um, let me get something. Let me get this. This is what I want. I'm going to get one more spotlight on this bowl. I have, like, all these different spotlights on this thing from different angles. The deeper you get in these, in these big bowls, the harder it is to, to, to see. Yeah, go to sleep, Pixie. It's late where you're at. WandaVision? 
What's WandaVision? I don't know that. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that right now. Let's give this thing a quick stop. Get it reset. Take a small break. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the lurk, Pixie. Totally. He likes big bowls and he cannot lie. That's right. Um, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. The sneezing panda. About a baby panda who sneezes very loud and becomes a YouTube sensation. Oh. That's interesting. Does this run lay the does this lay the run on one twenty or two forty volt? <sighs> Um, 120. Just a, st uh, a standard US outlet. So, yeah, it'll do. It's just the one, a 120 volt, which is nice. I don't have to do any special wiring or anything. It's not a big lathe. I can show. Let's turn my light on <laughs> so I can actually see. And we'll grab this camera right here and I'll do a little quick show and tell on my lathe. So. It's right here. There's a delta lathe. It's that's that's it. There's I got the matching legs to go with it. There's a lathe bed. You can see I've got it pretty much maxed out on what it can handle. I mean I can go a little bigger than that, but can't do huge things. And yeah, that's uh that's it. It is variable speed, which is very nice to have. Um you can change the belts to different uh, s uh, 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 speed gradients, I guess. Um, and yeah, I've got my little uh, Dalmore stag on there. Yeah, it's my lathe. I love it. Super fun lathe. Yeah, yeah, it can be bench mounted. Um, we were talking about that earlier a little bit. A lot of people uh, have it have them have them bench mounted first. Initially, um, the thing that's that that's nice about having it on legs, though, is that you can walk around it on all sides and get up into it if you need to. Uh, so that's that's the nice thing about having it on legs. Plus, you're not you're not taking up most of your bench with a lathe. I mean, my I, might, I mean, my bench is taken up by a bunch of uh, junk. <laughs> it's just like always full of stuff. So much stuff. <laughs> but you know, it could be worse. If my lathe was on there, I'd I'd never get I'd never have a space to do anything else on. <laughs> well. I mean, they're not all light lathes. Um, this is a good lathe for the size of shop that I have. Maybe someday if I get a bigger shop, um, I can get a bigger lathe. But yeah, it, it would be nothing compared to the size of lathe that, uh, you've got with like metalworking and stuff. I mean, you can get small metalworking lathes too. But yeah. Yeah, same uh, same here. I'm a garage wor a woodworker. You've s this is the extent of my shop, is what you've seen. Here, here I'll show you really quick. Um, I've got plastic up on the walls, um, and this is it. Like I've got my my bandsaw. Here's my laptop set up on my chair, and then my lathe. And then over here, I've got my sharpening set up with my shop back underneath. Desk collection stuff right there. And then my table. That's pretty much it. I'm in a very, very, very small shop. So I, I feel you. My old shop was even smaller. So I'm about, I'm, I'm, I'm almost double the size I was in my last one. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, 400 pounds. No, I I can lift up mine. I can move mine around. I 
I could probably pick up the whole thing on, on my own. I'd just rather not. You know. Atlas 10 inch long bed. Yeah. Aether Wolf has some cool old lays. <laughs> this thing on D, uh, D, D Dustified. Okay. Let's see where we're at. What I need to do now.